Hello everyone and welcome back again to On Our Channel. My name is Anas, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I don't reply to each comment and if you are wondering again why is that, because simply I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to add customers product reviews on Shopify. And not just any reviews, but actually reviews with the pictures. Because reviews with the pictures of the product they look more trustworthy other than reviews with just text on them and they also look legit so the customers when he sees the reviews he can actually believe that those reviews based on clients that did buy the product and that will higher conversion rate on your shopify store and not just that the reviews that will show you how to add them to your shopify store is actually will include the rating stores under the product title you don't have to install a separate app for that just from the ratings or the customer reviews a star's rating will be displayed under the product title and there is an option if you want to hide those stars or not but i don't think anyone would want to do that right and the next best thing about using the trick i will show you in this video is your customers will get a discount code if they submit a review and that's completely automatic you don't have to follow up with the clients that submits reviews and create a discount code for them they will be created automatically right after they submit the review and this option as well you can disable it or enable it from the app if you don't want to offer discount codes for customers who submit reviews you can disable the option and also i will show you how to customize it i mean the review widget if you want to add it to a specific part of the page because by default it would be at the bottom of the page so without any more talking let's just jump to it but before please if this video helped you out help me out pressing the like button i would really appreciate it and it's completely free and it will motivate me to show you more videos and tricks and without any more talking let's just jump to it as you can see i'm accessing the shopify dashboard right now so head over to shopify dashboard and after that you will need to install a single app on your shopify store so just head over to apps right here app section uh, click on it and after that click on recommended apps right here and it will show you this page and click on shopify app store at the bottom of the page it will open up the app store for shopify and after that search for revo reviews or just type in revo I will put the link for it actually in the description box so no worries just scroll down the description box and you will see it and here is right here so there is multiple actually for the email pop-up as well as the loyalty referrals however make sure you install the reviews app so just click on it and click on add app from here i already did so i'm going to head back to my shopify dashboard and i'm going to access the app by just clicking on apps and click on revo product reviews and after that it will show you the dashboard for it however it will not look like this because you need to enable the widget for the reviews by simply head over to the widget part right here on the left menu click on it and after that enable the widget from here so i already enable it in your case you should see it as off so make sure to turn it on and after that it will show you how the reviews will look like and from this page right here you can actually customize the widget however you want for example the reviews list right here you can change the text on the widget as well as the button where uh, a customer will click on write a review you can change it and, and i don't think you really need to change this because there is not that many options you can replace them with and as well they don't play that much of a difference on your shopify store and scroll down to the bottom page and you will see this option where you can limit the reviews per page either you want 10 or 5 or 20 or however you want however i do recommend you to keep it as 10 and by default it will be at 10 and below it show review date which is when the date of the review was submitted if you want to create the reviews yourself then just keep it enabled however you will need to keep adding reviews each two days or three days so they will look more legit and below it in here allow visitors to submit a review from the front store and i think you want them right so let's just get back in here because there is more options to customize the widgets however you want for example the select ratings in here it will show you the ratings as you can see uh, hate it it's okay love it which is the five stars and you can change the text on them which is love it it's okay hate it and the words if you want to change the words and keep it as just as numbers and they will show up here here we go as you can see one two three four five which is the stars but i think they look good in words and the stars will be full or empty like this as you can see and this is i think is a personal choice so whatever you think it looks good make sure to go for it 
Let's just get back in here and the option below is upload media which is the section where the customer is going to upload the media and in here as you can see it says uh, get 15% of your next order and this will be created automatically on your discount section right here however as i said i will show you how to disable the option if you don't want to offer discounts for your customers and this is just the title upload a photo or a video and we we'll love to showcase it on our website and same as the others i don't think you really need to change this because it doesn't make any difference so let's just keep it like this and below it in here the less more which is the section where the customer is gonna explain or say his experience with your product and that will be below the picture of the review and same as the others i don't think you really need to change these however they give you the option to do so which is really cool so let's just get back in here the title page which is the last one add review which is the will be the title for the review and the other option in here is about you which is the information from the customers that will submit review like the name last name and email and i will show you a bonus tip on how to create unlimited reviews without having to create an email each time because it will only accept a single review from a single email if you want to create reviews by yourself you don't have to create an email for each review that would take a lot of time i will show you how to create elementary reviews without having to create emails so let's just get back in here the last option i think is the success page which is where the customer will get the message like thanks for your review and in here it will be here is your 15 discount code and it will be a code in here displayed let me show you that actually so you can see as well how that will look like so let's just get uh, access our shopify store from here and uh, let's just go for a product let's just go for this one and here is as you can see it says it shows here the stars in here and they will be based on the review so let's just click on it and it will send us the widget and as i said i will show you how to customize it if you want to show the reviews widget at the top of the page or whatever the case so let's just click on review write review and let's just go for five stars and as you can see it says here you get 15 percent of your next order and this is because we enabled the option i will show you how to disable it just hold on for a moment so let's just click on add photo and let's just go for this mouse photo by the way this is a picture i did customize it to make the product on it look really professional as you can see it has this rgb lighting and an icon it doesn't look really branded or professional if you are interested in how to make product pictures really professional make sure to check out my channel i did do that live in action in my video using this particular picture so let's just click on upload and good product let's just type in good product and next and um, good product again and let's just click on next first name on how last name subscribe please make sure you do so so in here the email as i said is required however you don't have to create a limited emails in order to submit reviews that would take a lot of time so you can just type in a random email that doesn't even exist for example on how subscribe 12 out of us gmail dot com i don't have this email i never created an email with this name however it looks legit because make sure you do actually include numbers uh, after a random text or something like that because it looks legit so let's click on done and give it a couple of seconds and here we go as you can see it says thanks for your view oops what did happen okay it says thanks for your view again okay let's just keep it like this we don't have to zoom in so thanks for your view here is your discount code for 15 percent off your next order and this is an actual discount code this is not just a, a random text that's not actually a discount code this is actually a discount code now we'll show you how to find it so let's just click on continue and the reviews will be there let's just reload the page and as you can see it says one and five stars below the title product and let's just scroll all the way down and here is our review as you can see on how it does not show the full last name it's just the first letter and that's for privacy reasons you don't want to show the full uh, customer name on the shopify store and no app will show will do that actually so the product review is good product and the picture here is as you can see and the date because we did enable the date for the review and right now let's just get back and show you how to actually disable the option of the discount then i will show you how to customize the widget to add it to any part of the page you want so let's just get back in here uh, and in here actually the review stores if you want the review stores to be on the product title just like i showed you in here and you can see so if you want them to show up in here or you don't want in case you don't want to show you can disable the option from here however i don't think you want that right so just keep it on in here and by it will be on by default so 
The next part is how to disable the discount code if you don't want to offer a discount for customers that submit reviews on your Shopify store. Simply head over to settings right here, simply click on it. And by the way, this setting to so collect your reviews. For example, if you want to auto publish all, all the reviews that have uh, five stars and above or three stars and above or only five stars. And by default will be four stars and above. So let's just scroll all the way down. Here is discount section. In here, you will see discount type 15%. In here, you will see 50%. And if you click on percent, you will see fixed amount, which is will be by the dollars or the currency they are using in Shopify store or no discount. So if you pick no discount, it will not offer any discount and it will not show it to the customers whatever they want to create a review. And after that, make sure you do click on save right here. However, I will not do that because I don't want to remove it. So right now, let's just hit over and show you how to customize it if you want the widget to be displayed in a specific part of the page. And to do that, simply click on online store right here. And after that, click on customize. So I did switch the browser because the Safari browser tend to be really buggy when it comes to Shopify, the customized tool. So I did open up on Chrome browser. After that, we need to select the product page from here. So click on products and the default product page if you have other products page that you did create yourself you make sure to pick it from there and let's just change the product to a real product that actually has reviews on it for example this one that we did pick and after that you will see right here the widget for review reviews and by default it will be as i said at the bottom of the page by simply clicking on the the lines right here and you can drag it up and put it in any part of the page that you want even below the pricing right here however the best location for it as i said is at the bottom of the page let's just drag it down again to the bottom of the page and after that simply click save and if you don't see by the way if you don't see a review widget in here make sure to click on add block right here and after that just wait for a second and it will show you the apps the widgets based on the apps you have installed on your shopify store and you should see revo review stores or revo reviews widget then you can add it to your shopify store however i think most people will already find the widget in here because by default it will be here this is just in case that if you don't see it so that's how you add customers product reviews on your shopify store with the stores as well as pictures and offering discount code for customers that they did submit a review on your Shopify store. And as I said in the beginning of the video, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or any video requests, make sure to drop them below in the comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I do reply to each comment. And if you are wondering again, why is that? Because simply, I'm working for you. Otherwise, I think my job is done for this video. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.